Wow, what an experience. Right? Listen to that. Isn't that wonderful? Just, let's just play and then we'll get started. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> let, me, let me figure out a song. So excited uh, to be able to to experience and do what we share with you today. I'm Kimo Hussey, and this is Jonah Davis. Hello, everybody. Uh, and and it's our it's our it's our extreme pleasure uh, to share with you uh, today our uh, what I will call our Santo Kamaka uh, Kamaka experience. First of all, let's start with this wonderful instrument. Uh, this is uh, an instrument that was made by Santo. Uh, Santo was uh, one of the three uh, people who came to Hawaii in 1879 and brought with them uh, <clears throat> not only some of their Portuguese instruments but, but basically the roots of, of what uh, became our ukulele today. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and this is just a wonderful, wonderful piece. You can see that uh, uh, in terms of uh, design and looks, this instrument has just wonderful workmanship that goes all the way around here uh, on the part. It also has uh, decorative uh, uh, things in line with this on the bridge as well as uh, on, on the neck and, uh, and, and the headstock. Mm -hmm. the, one of the really interesting things about the build of this instrument is that it's it's so thin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, and and light. Feel how light that is. It's very light, and it has a really loud voice for such a small body. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and it's uh, it's it's just an it's just incredible that uh, you know a person that long ago uh, yeah. put something like this uh, together, and it's still making beautiful sounds today. And there's not a single nail or screw in it. It's just, uh, it's just incredible, sound-wise. Um, looks wonderful. Sound wonderful. Playability, which is, I mean, I mean, this thing is so easy to play. put the death grip on this ukulele <laughs> just, uh, just to play it. But I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you for me, uh, uh, certainly what is, what is the most mm -hmm. wonderful thing about this ukulele for me right now, and that is these, uh, what are, what are wear spots. Uh, there's, there's one here, a big one here, and a smaller one here. And, 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 and what I want to do uh, is uh, is to rotate this ukulele uh, around so that uh, so that maybe we can get to the to the place where it's able where you are able to see this wear spot here and this wear spot here. Yeah. And the reason why these are so wonderful uh, uh, to me uh, is that as as I play as a player, 
I get to, in a very, 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 very small way, contribute mm -hmm. uh, to these wear spots. Yeah. And, and, and as I do that, I think about not only, uh, not only how wonderful it was for these guys to bring, uh, to bring their instruments here to Hawaii, uh, but for me to be able to play uh, instruments that came out of that time frame and, and also think about, about the various people yeah. Uh, who helped contribute to this. Mm -hmm. um, let's play something. Yep. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's, uh, let's do Lati 2 again this time. You can sing. How's that? I'll try. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. I'll follow you. Okay. That was so much fun. Um, I, can, uh, I can speak for hours uh, just about this ukulele, but um, tell, us, uh, tell us about uh, this guitar based on what you know about it. Uh, based on what I know, this is a Kamaka guitar. I didn't even know they made Kamaka uh, guitars. Um, and it was made around 1916, 1920, so I wasn't here yet. <laughs> Neither was I. I'm glad to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still young, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, all cool. Um, gorgeous. It sounds great. It sounds amazing. Uh, feels super comfortable. And there's a V-neck on it, which is different. It's not something I'm familiar with, but I mean... Feels good in the hands, you know, it's the, fun. The V-neck like here, yeah? Yeah, so if you can kind of see, I don't know if the angle, you can see it, but there's like a V-neck right here. But all in all, like, it does fit pocket right in your hand. You know what mm. I mean? So I, I do like that. That's very cool. You know, one of the things, uh, one of the things I notice um, is, uh, can, uh, can, you, can you hold the guitar up? Yeah. I mean, uh, Kamaka was a different person uh -huh. uh, than Santo, but uh, but at least for me, I can see influences uh, the similarities from, uh, yeah. from this instrument, which is an older instrument to this, mostly, uh, mostly in, in the, the binding. I'm, I'm not too sure what you call this, but with the decorative pattern. Uh -huh. um, and because uh, because uh, you know this, I, I look at this as 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 being kind of a singular ap approach uh, to this and. 
and this this has been kind of a, kind of a compounded approach in the, in basically the same thing. Uh, so it's really wonderful. What do you think of that sound? Tell so, us about the sound of that guitar. Sound is great. I love it. Um, you know, it's a sound that I don't know. It's, it's hard to replicate, um, but for me, um, you know, it it sounds very nostalgic in a sense. Um, you know, it brings back just the name alone conjures up that type of feeling of family, nostalgia, and learning how to play. It's a community thing. It's something that's very common in the home, and that's what this sound pretty much reminds me of. You know what I mean? My uncles and aunts, my oldies, my grandmas, brothers and sisters, um, playing and jamming, and us little kids yeah. just watching. You know. One of the one of the wonderful things about. What, what we call nai nai music uh -huh. is, yeah. is is uh, is that it's about what you're talking about yeah. you know it's it's there's something about the sound yeah uh, uh, that we so enjoy but but a big reason why we enjoy the sound uh -huh. is that it takes us back exactly in exactly time. yes the the interesting thing about these instruments is that uh, if it's true that sound takes us back uh -huh. and these these do these the the sound takes us back but but not but not as far as when these instruments were made right, uh, right. because the instruments were made uh, you know before uh, before we were born mm -hmm. the other thing i think about uh what you mentioned uh in terms of the sound uh of the instrument is that is that music music is not is not just purely objective that's right music is not about just uh, you know, playing playing the right chords and playing the right, right. melodies and That's right. uh, you know playing in time and things of that sort. Those things are important. Yeah. But yeah. just as important, if not more so, is the emotional impact uh, we we try and accrue uh -huh. uh, from the music. Not only when we listen to it, but when we play yeah. uh, the music as well. Because exactly. Because it should be emotional. Exactly. And every musician interprets. <clears throat> That emotion, however they feel like it, you know, every yeah. every style of playing, it's yeah. all different. I just noticed that there's a, a, a I think this is the Hawaiian coat of arms, uh, you know, on this uh, uh, on on the guitar's headstock, and also there's uh, there's kind of an old worn out decal I think that has uh, the Kamaka name oh. on it. So uh, I understand how you feel when you play that uh, instrument because I feel the same when we do this. Yeah. So yeah. you know what? Let's uh, uh, let's do uh, uh, he lovey. He lovey. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Uh, why? Because uh, uh, for some uh, for some reason, um, uh, you know, I associate a guitar sound uh, that's coming out uh, with Kiko uh, and, and so let's uh, let's just do these and do he lovey. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. In, in what key, brother? Uh, in C. C. Oh, 
可可以跟他过一拉的。嗨嗨呀嗨呀，不安呐，不马可可以跟他过一拉的，过一拉。Sang the song in a long time. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. It's wonderful uh, to be able to take advantage uh, of the heritage and the work uh, that people did who came before us. Mm -hmm. So let us all, let us all do our fair share to continue that heritage. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs>